continue now with the other specific velocity criteria is the other approach to choose the perfect pump or at least the best pump for the applications uh, we're going to be talking about specific velocity and specific diameter since they are dimensionless numbers normally it's better to compare these two we're going to calculate the specific velocity which we say formula pretty easy and the specific diameter we're going to similar to the previous point find the operation point and choose the suggest pump so recall n is the impeller speed in revolution per minute q is the volumetric flow in gallon per minute h is the pump head in fit diameter is the well v is the diameter of the impeller in inches so the equation that we need to use for specific speed will be this times the square root of the volumetric flow rate divided by the head to the 3 fourth powers and this one goes for specific diameter <coughs> so this is the graph I was telling you about this is the specific velocity and the specific diameter to the left until 4000 ns you can find radial flow which is centrifugal pump of course mixed flow and axial flow and we got the efficiencies right here so for exercise number one I want you to find the best pump for this process which is 500 gallons per minute the system head is about 80 feet and the velocity of the impeller is 1750 revolution per minute the size of the impeller is 18 inches so what we need to do is essentially just plug the numbers in and be sure to use the for example RPM here to be using gallons per minute here and in the head use feet here use inches uh, in the head use feet and Q uses uh, so once you're done studying all the course theory and practice probably you want to get your final test done so go here probably you've been following quiz 1, 2, 3, 4 through 6 and once you're done you will want to check out what was your experience so go and check either the first section or the second section of the quizzes this is about 150 questions yes I know it's a lot but it's covering the whole course this is the recommended score you should take and recommended time is about two hours but actually if you study or at least you know what's the course about you should be taking around 30 to 40 minutes and yeah you have plenty of questions once you're done you can ask and check out your grades by submitting your answers. What it is is gallon per minute. So doing this, I got these revolutions per minute, this head and this, sorry, this head and this volumetric flow rate. I got this specific velocity, the same for diameter, and I got this. Let's go back to the graph. This is my specific velocity, and this is my specific diameter. As you can see, the point is out of the normal operation. So if this line is 30%, I could say this is between 20 and even 10%. So this is pretty bad operation. So this is not recommended to operate. So what one thing that we can do is to reduce the size of the diameter. Recall that we got 18 inches. So what will happen if we use 12 inches? Let's do that. 12 inches instead goes here and I found out that my new specific diameter is 1.6 so from this point now I got it inside I'm pretty happy because I am using this efficiency which is about 70 and 60 and once again this is more normal than the operation right here and this is the better operation for this process we could even find more actually yeah the best point to operate will be this one inside which is 80% and maybe if you go a little bit more like this will be 90% and well, what are those ranges you need to operate between these diameter specific diameter ranges which is 0.4 to 1.2 and you need to work with this specific 
velocities, which is from 1,500 to 7,000. And that's essentially how to choose a pump. As you can see, depending on what you choose, for example, this is once again flow or mixture or mix pump, but everything that goes through here is centrifugal pump. So I will recommend to use in this case, yeah, in this case, it's definitely a centrifugal pump. We are not that near of the mixed flow and avoid actual flow because this is once again for high velocities. High velocities mean high volumetric flow rates. Very good. This was a free preview. If you want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward. Uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block then you have the sections if you are for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.